there's two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand. There's, there's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain because that hurts. You remember what that felt like. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. And, 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 and if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt that you backed off. The first time you felt, ah, that burn. The first time you felt that, ah, it's too much. You're thinking about quitting. You're thinking about giving up. You're, you're allowing this family curse that have gotten in the way of what your mama, your daddy, your cousins, and everybody in your family have not been able to accomplish. You are, you are folding, you are caving in. This is for you. Don't give up. When you get into a tight spot and everything goes against you until it seems that you cannot hold on for a minute longer, never give up then. For that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. Don't give up on anything that you're trying to be better at. If you're focusing on things that you cannot control, then guess what? You are never going to be in control. There are things that you can control and there are things that you cannot control. But one thing for sure, you better not give up. You better not give up on pushing yourself. You better not give up on your dreams. You better not give up on being the best makeup of yourself. You cannot wake up every morning thinking that every day is going to belong to you. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. Some of you sitting in here today have felt like, man, I want to give up. God knows that pain. He knows your heart. He knows you're struggling. But what we cannot do is we cannot give up. There are going to be those days when you just want to just say, nope, not today. I don't have it. I'm not going to be good at it. The best thing you could do is to continue to move forward. Even when it's tough, even when it's hard, you got to continue to move forward. The biggest mistake that people make is when it gets hard for them, they want to give up. They want to throw in the towel because they feel that every day is supposed to be a good day for them. But guess what? Every day is a good day because you're above ground and not under it. So keep that in mind, people. Don't let quit tell you what to do. Don't get that mindset to want to give up. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't give in to certain circumstances. Circumstances are going to come. We go through these things for a reason. It's just building you up. It's helping you to build character. It's helping you to understand that one day you're going to have to face something and you're not prepared to face it because you haven't been through enough to face it. So every day of your life when you wake up, just know you got to be ready to fight when you need to fight and you got to be ready to live as hard as you strong and possibly as you can because that's all you have. When you're working on doing the things you want to do and fulfilling your dream and things happen, there are times when your energy feels so depleted that you want to give up that it looks just totally impossible. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, don't give up then. That's when you've got to fall forward, when life is kicking dirt in your face. Don't give up then. That's when most people turn back. Most people will tuck their tails between their legs and they will run in the opposite direction and say, that's all right, life, I don't want this. No, no, no. If you've decided that this is what you want to do, you've got to become courageous to stand up within yourself, to face it and step forward. And ladies and gentlemen, that is what gives your life meaning. That those things will begin to strengthen you like you can never begin to imagine. You got one life. Live the life that you have. Live it to the fullest. Be the best person that you can be. There are going to be outside sources. There are going to be outside distractions. There are going to be people that's going to try to knock you off your game. But you got control of the game more than you can imagine. You have control of most situations that you can ever imagine. But you got to be willing to stand up and step up and show up and show out. Everybody ain't made to be like you. Just like you're not made to be like everybody else. So be the best of yourself and don't give up. Sometimes you're gonna have to just go through it. It ain't gonna always be a good day. It ain't gonna always be a bright day. But as long as you are living and you have the opportunity to move, keep 
moving forward. When you plant a seed, you don't plant it as if the planting were the final destination. You plant it and you can't see it anymore. Its destiny is concealed. Planting looks no different from burial. In order to do either one of them, you got to do some digging. And once you dig down in the ground, both of them are concealed. But one of them has a destiny and the other one does not. You bury the dead to get rid of the body, but you plant a seed so that it can go through a transformation of coming back up greater than it was when it went down. When you plant a seed, you're not burying it to get rid of it. You're planting it so that it can go through a metamorphosis and come back up better than it was when it went down. How many people in this room have come up better than you were? I'm better for it. I didn't like it, but I'm better for it. I couldn't see down there, but I'm better for it. You see, I was planted in a dark place where my sight didn't work for me, but I'm better for it. Every time you go through something dark and you can't see your way out, remember you've been planted, not been buried, and when you come up, you already been through hell, already been through high water, already been planted, already been in a dark place, but just because I'm in a dark place, don't expect me to stay in a dark place. I may be underground, but I'm not buried in this mess. I'm planted in it. I'm planted in it. And if I'm planted in it, expect me to come back up again. And when I come back up, you won't recognize me because I'm going to be transformed by the experiences that I have in you. Get over yourself. You're going to eventually get to a point where you are going to fail at something. You're not going to be the best at everything. You're not going to be the strongest at everything. You're not going to even be the smartest at everything. But as long as you're moving forward and doing something that is going to make you better each day, that's a good thing. Failing does not mean that it's over for you. Failure means that you're learning something about you. Failure means that you got to continue to do something each and every day to get you in a better position than what you are right now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself down because today you're having that day and you're just thinking to yourself, well, I'm not that good at this. Well, if you're not that good at it, then do something about it and work on it so you can be good at it. And once you overcome that, find something else that's going to challenge you. Find something else that you're going to probably fail at. I know we're always talking about you don't want to fail, you don't want to fail. Well, guess what? you got to fail. Because when you fail, that's when you learn. I don't care what we go through. We're going to survive this. You can't get through a writing class and you got tutor after tutor, resource after resource. The problem is you ain't never felt no pain before. You're soft. It's a soft generation. You quit on everything. Listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. And the problem with most of you, you never felt no pain before, y'all spoiled. Y'all spoiled, some of y'all spoiled, just bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself, you're spoiled. We're gonna keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. You're gonna have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die. At the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you will keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. So don't, don't worry about a little pain. My greatest asset is I was homeless. So I can't feel a whole lot of pain. I've already been alone. There's not a whole lot of, it's not, not a whole lot of hurt I can feel. 
We have gotten to a point where it's midterms and we moving forward. The days of you getting money, I'm not saying we quitting, but I'm saying the day has got to go from external to internal. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more plan. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. I'm about to get busy now. I want you to have a countdown of your own and say when the countdown is over, stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up. Stop sleeping on the streets. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I got to breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you will never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you the world is yours. Your purpose is so important right now that most of the most of the times you probably don't have any idea how important it really is. You need to understand that with purpose, you have to put work into that. You have to be willing to put in some type of idea of what it is you need to be doing with your purpose. But the thing that you have to understand about purpose is that it doesn't just fall in your lap to build it. You have to be willing to build it up. You have to be willing to work at it. Now, there are going to be some circumstances that may come your way that you may not be ready for. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you are supposed to stop. There are going to be many difficult things that's going to come your way. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you are supposed to stop. You have got to find reason behind your purpose to get things done. Regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your trials and tribulations, you still have a mission in this world. You still have work to do in this world. Now, if you're spending more time on your excuses and your sorrows and all of your doubts and fears, then you're not going to get the most out of your life. So this is the time when you have to wake up within yourself, raise up that other person that has yet to be awakened and do something with your life. Stop making excuses. Stop waiting for something to happen to make something happen. I don't know why people think that that's the way to go. If you are laying in a position right now that you don't want to be laying in, then get up and do something. If you don't like the way you live in your life, get up and do something. Stop waiting for things to happen for you to get up and do things because guess what? You're going to be waiting a long time. When the leaves change on the trees and they fall off and the weather changes its temperature, Everyone know a season is coming. I want you to remember what you're about to hear because this will keep you very peaceful. There is a benefit to seasons. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. Whatever you are going through is only a season. It doesn't matter what you are experiencing, whether it's good or in your opinion bad, it will change no matter how cold it get in the winter summer is coming unemployment is seasonal in other words the season for you to leave the job you are on has come why there's a better one up ahead get ready for something big 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 bigger than what you had seasons are always temporary and crisis is a human description and the key to life is outlasting the seasons. If you can stay warm long enough, summer will come. What you have to do is organize yourself to outlast the season, that's all. That's why seasons give hope. You don't quit, it cannot stay. So what you gotta do is plan for the next phase. Seasons gives the incentive to plan. This won't last. Let me get ready for what's coming. Let my expectation be based on the fact that seasons don't last. So don't give up in a season. We rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. 
It's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. It's why kids have a problem finishing things in today's time. Because as soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort, of things ain't right, oh, they're gone. I can't do it no more. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. Because see, pain, pain is tricky. Because if you don't control pain, it'll control you. What makes you get up when you fall down? What makes your mentality change if there's a great situation or there's a bad situation? How do you dictate that based off the level of pain? Because I think that's what we're getting in trouble at. That's what pain is. Pain is a repetition of the psyche. Until you learn how to figure it out, until you learn how to tap it on the, tap it on the back and say, I know you there, but I'm built to deal with you. I don't want nobody to leave here today and not understand why we must find a way to push through pain to understand that's on the other side of that is glory. Sometimes your greatest pain, it ain't even about you. It's about a greater purpose. That if you can find a way to push through, that if you can find a way to not make it about you, learn, learn to appreciate the occasional storms that come in your life. Just learn to appreciate how small they are. The occasional storms that come every day. And then that's the ingredient of how you really deal with pain. A dream is not going to come easy. And this generation believes that you got to show me your body of work. And that's going to take hard work and dedication. It's going to be nights where you want to give up. It's going to be nights when you ain't even got a meal. You're eating ramen noodles every single night. But you got to really uh, uh, zoom in on your dream. And, and you got to become addicted to it. Because I want this. It's all about effort and what you want. We from nothing. We come from nothing. Why not uh, 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 empty the tank every single day you get out the bed? Why not take a chance? Why not struggle for a little while so you can shine forever? That's what it's about. And a lot of people lose out on that opportunity of shining because, you know, you dip and dab. You know, God, when he gives you a gift, he don't want you to play with it. When you have an undeniable gift, you don't have to make them feel as if they got to work for you. They'll work for you for free. When you're going through life and you're facing all these trials and tribulations, as you grow up, you understand how hard life really is. But we all got certain fruits of greatness on us. And it's whatever you feed, it's whatever you water, it's the roots. You got to pick a root and ride with it. I tell you that this life, this career, uh, this day is going to be hard. It's going to be competitive. You're going to want to quit. It's going to be days when you don't have any money. But you got to remember the reason why you started. You got to remember the reason why you, you even took a chance and invested in yourself. You don't come this far to only come this far. It's one of my favorite sayings. We did not come this far to only come this far. We came this far to be kings and queens. We are royal and we have so much greatness in us. I want you to think about your dream and envision it. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. It's possible for you to choose your future, but it's necessary that you work on yourself, that you develop yourself. It's necessary that you get the energy drainers out of your life, people who don't want anything, people who are not striving, people who are not challenging themselves, people who aren't growing, people who have stopped dreaming. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry, people who are unstoppable and unreasonable, people who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. The next step is, that is you. That is you. That no one can do it for you but you.
And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. Life has taught me that you will grow through what you go through. Life has taught me for every level, there's another devil. Life has taught me that the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. Everybody wants something in life. But many of you in this room right now, your beast mode is idle. Your beast mode is not turned on. And when you leave this place, I'm telling you, your life is going to go to a whole other level if you can learn to turn that switch on and keep that switch on. I need you to recycle your pain. What you're going to discover as you're going towards your dream, as you're going towards your goal, they're going to be, they're going to, man, so many distractions. There are going to be so many people that, haters, so many people that come up against you. So many obstacles, so many trials, so many tribulations. And when people ask me, E.T., like for real, for real, E., I know you can give me 20 things that you've done to help yourself to become successful. But E.T., I just need like one or two. Can you give me one or two? And one of the things I tell people is, I outlasted the pain. I outlasted the pain. When I was sleeping in those abandoned buildings, I kept telling myself, one day you'll be a homeowner. Every time I walked into that abandoned building, I told myself that this might be your current circumstances, but this will not be how the story ends. All you have to do, E.T., is to survive today. To survive today. When they kicked me out of school, I knew that I would not be a high school dropout for the rest of my life. I knew I got to get through this one day. Me and my mom been through a lot. I didn't grow up with my biological father. He wasn't into my, in my life until I was 30 years old. But I told myself, today, your father is not in your life, but one day. And so every single day when I wake up homeless, one day. Every single day when I woke up in that abandoned building, one day. One day is going to be E.T.'s day. But that day can't come if I give up today. So every single day when I woke up, I kept telling myself, Today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? Your mind has a tactical advantage over you at all times. It knows your weaknesses, it knows your strengths, and it will guide you into your nice comfort zone. We have to reprogram our mind to get a, like a different vantage point so then you know how to be in charge of yourself versus your mind being in charge of you. But let's say I'm training for a 100 mile race and I get to mile 50 and I feel like, and like everybody else, my mind gets soft. Why? Because I'm human. I'm not some, you know, hybrid creature that was formed from the heavens above. No, human. I suffer, I don't like it, I'm uncomfortable, I don't like it. So my mind starts to get weak and we start to forget about how bad we are. This is about self-talk. So basically what I do here is you have to make sure that your mind doesn't become spastic. When it's suffering, when it's in pain, all it wants to do is find the easy way out, which is usually quit. If you quit, the pain goes away immediately. You gotta give yourself enough energy and fuel in your mind to stay just a little bit longer so you can talk yourself into staying for the whole thing. And this is how it works. Most of us never start anything cold. If you're gonna go to college, you gotta study your ass off. If you wanna run a 100 mile race, a marathon, if you wanna go be Mr. Olympia, but what happens is, in that moment where we need self-talk, when we're failing and we're in our worst spot possible, we forget the front end, the, all the buildup to where we're at today. We forget how, how much work we put in. So for me, we forget that we put years years, maybe not into making these dials, but to getting where you're at today. To become this person, to be in a position to make this money, or whatever you want to make, whatever you want to do in your life. We forget that. We forget that journey on what it took for us to get in this moment to make the right decision. So my self-talk is this. Okay, I want to get the f out of here, man. I'm done. Then I remember this. You ran 2,000 miles training to be in this moment right now. We forget that. 
We forget the three o'clock in the morning runs or, or getting up early for work or whatever you're doing. We forget all that in that moment of suffering. I remind myself, I only have 50 more miles. I put in six months of training. So what I do, my self-talk is basically going back down memory lane of all those up days. I ran the rain or I had to study real late at night and I didn't want to do it, but I did it to get here. I wanted to get here. Now you're here and now you want to quit. Let's, let's think about it. If you haven't put in any hard work to reflect on, you're fucked. All this like people want to be all positive, all this positive talk, it doesn't work if it's a lie. Like if you didn't study for your big exam and you go into it saying, I'm going to pass it. Yeah. No, you're not. You're going to fail it. That self-talk is not going to work. Self-talk without real work is just a lie. So my self-talk is me reminiscing back on the struggle to get to this moment. And that tells me we're not quitting today. Not today. Things go wrong. They always seem to happen at once and they just compound on top of each other. And it's, it's pretty easy sometimes to, to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time. But that doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the war path. And I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're going to do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up. Dig in. Line up those problems and confront them, face them, fight them. Do not let them bring you down. In fact, let those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow so so in the future you look back at these struggles and you say to them thank you you made me better we all have limitations i don't have the right genetics to be an olympic champion sprinter gymnast or whatever sport you want to name i can tell you i do not have the dna to be the best in the world in those categories so does that mean that i give up does that mean that i quit of course not not at all it means that i'm gonna try to be the best that i can be the strongest the fastest the smartest the smartest human that I can become. That's what I'm gonna go for. It is possible. How close can I get to that greatness? How close can I get to that glory? But the reality is, my glory, it doesn't happen in front of a crowd. It doesn't happen in a stadium. It doesn't happen on a stage. There's no medals handed out. My glory happens in the darkness of the early morning, in solitude, alone, where I try. And I try and I try again to be everything that I possibly can be. The best that I possibly can be. Better than I was yesterday and better than other people thought I could be. Faster and stronger and smarter and with one victory that no one can ever take away from me. A victory 
that is earned every single day. A victory of determination and will and discipline. And a victory that is achieved because I will not stop. <laughs>